Hello loves, I'm grateful to have another opportunity to share with you my experience knowledge and wisdom to my central process. Yes, compassion. Compassion is the most important spiritual tool that you or anyone could have in your spiritual toolbox. Uh, compassion right now is the most essential tool that you can use at any moment to neutralize your energy. What does it mean by neutralizing your energy, right? When we are doing energy work, right, and that's the awakening kit, the awakening kit kind of gives you some awareness of your energy and how to work with it. Uh, so when we neutralize our energy, uh, maybe uh, logic, reason, non-emotional response, these are forms of neutralizing someone's energy or when you're reasoning with someone. Now, because we are human beings, we are creatures of energy, so we like to be reasonable, but you know, it should make me happy. I should be logical, but I don't like it, so I'm gonna hate on it, right? That's kind of like human beings incorporate their emotional response, even though it's logic. And that's what the radical left is um, going through right now or expressing. But when, when we take out compassion and we understand the bigger picture, then we are doing service to ourselves and service to others. Now, I put on our Instagram stories. If you have not, go follow me on Instagram. My personal account will be down below. I'm working on the Rainbow Love Community Instagram page to make that more active, but you could definitely go use um, some affirmations with that. But yeah, it, so yeah, uh, about compassion, how it works. So let's say that because human, because humanity is going through an energetic shift and a conscious shift, uh, the energies is going, the energy is like up and down, up and down, very extremes, right? It's not like steady, it's like, and then it goes slow, and then, you know, it's very, it's very high-low. There's these peaks. Compassion will put you right in the middle, so the transition between the one, before the high and the low peaks. Uh, and this will, one, protect your energy, which is really great because I'm not, I'm not for protecting one's energy because you don't need to protect your energy from yourself. There are some times where we do need to protect your energy and you know, and the awakening kit has tools for you to protect your energy. Compassion is one of those tools that allow you to protect your energy because if someone comes at you at a happy place, then you could decide to either react as a happy, like in the same frequency as them, or you could just stay neutral, right? Because if you disagree with their happiness, then you could just stay neutral. If uh, someone comes at you with some fear, some anger, some hate, and you're like, ooh, no, I don't want to dive into that. So you stay at neutral, not meaning very higher than them or not, but you're just staying neutral, where you won't lower your vibration, so you attract scenarios on that, right? Because that's what we're doing. We're attracting scenarios at all times with our energy. So you protect your energy through, com through compassion when you become very neutral. Second. Like, yeah. When you are neutral, you decide if you want to go high vibrational or low vibrational, depending on your external reality. For me, I typically try to go high vibrational at all times, but it is hard living in this matrix. And that's the idea. We have to ride these waves like cowboys. We've gotta ride them out, loves. So if the negative situation comes your way, then yes, feel it. Don't make it long last, just feel it. Get that lower vibration, understand through compassion, and raise it up to back to compassion. Feel it, and then go back to neutrality. Um, so that you understand, okay, I want to attract higher vibrational states of being. And that's a choice. So when you stay neutral, you don't need to go lower. So that's what it means by you don't, when you're compassionate towards someone, you don't, or yourself, you don't lower your vibration because it's very you're neutralizing your energy. And lastly, you become aware when you're compassionate because this is the key of compassion. Compassion is not like empathy or sympathy. Compassion is understanding the other aspect of ourselves that are experiencing their choices. That's it. Well, when you look at it like that, right? I'm a servant being 
and hopefully you allow me, which I'm so grateful for, loves that you allow me to be what I am today and who I am. I'm so grateful for that. And anyone else, I totally agree. Like for example, the the example that I gave, I'm gonna let him do what he does. I'm not going to comment on him. I'm not gonna say, well, you are ignorant. I'm not gonna say, you know, why are you hating on someone? Like, aren't you like contradicting? You know, I'm not going to react to that post or him. I will unfollow as a way of keeping my energy neutral. He can lower his vibration, go for it. Go hate on that neighbor of yours. Essentially, you're hating on yourself. Um, and learn about not to hate on yourself. <laughs> um, and you go do it, right? I'm not gonna stop you, I'm not gonna try to convince you. That's a, your choice. And that's what it means by being compassionate. You understand the other points of view without trying to convince them or try to change them, right? Because that's literally what it is. You're trying to change them or convince them otherwise through logic or emotional intelligence. Whatever it is, you just let them. Let them experience their choices. Compassion, that's what compassion is. So, when we're neutral and compassionate, we get to see the entire wave particle, right? We get to see the highs and the lows, right? That's how I'm able to see, able to see the energy signature of the presidential debate, the first and the last one, and final. How you can see not people get lost in the the extremes right in the each peaks right people are like oh this this is really good he he talked about climate change and oh no there's this this guy is talking about this health care he's trying to take it away right they get they get lost in these peaks whereas one can be compassionate and see the entire wave so when we come to a pivotal point in our experience in life when it comes in our reality we can understand, okay, in this situation, the collective unconscious, because we're talking about the collective unconscious, is choosing this lower vibrational density concept as a way to express itself. Um, because uh, the collective conscious, right, this is like, the collective conscious is very minute. Hope, right now it's increasing, which is awesome, love, it's awesome. If you're watching this video, you're part of the collective conscious. Uh, you're, you're, you're gonna understand, okay, this is more than just a vibrational spiritual warfare. It, it goes beyond, it goes inner, right? So you do not worry about the externality and that's the difference. And so, yeah, I'm here to share with you a tool that I use every single day um, living here in this reality right now uh, during the great spiritual awakening and during the great uh, paradigm shift. Compassion loves compassion. Yes, it can get boring sometimes, okay? But it's so much fun because people want it. And they're, people want it and sometimes it's harder for them to get it. But when we are compassionate, we're always in that state of level of, hey, like, you can play your game, but I'm playing my game and you was not, you're not getting near me. Like, no ma'am, right? <laughs> like, you hands down put that compassionate line, be like, hey, Let's have a civil conversation and let me hear why you chose to choose that reality versus a different reality. And you know, that's it. So those are the three benefits of showing compassionate towards oneself and others, right? Protect your energy. You have the choice to not attract lower vibrational energies. And three, you will expand your awareness and the grand scheme of all so you have, I mean, I wanna say a one hand up versus people who are really focused on that one point, you have one up, right? It's like, you can get lost in there, but let's just look at the bigger picture here for, for a moment. Um, but if you wanna have a conversation, then you need to really dive into that peak that they're in, right? Even if it's a lower vibration, if you want to relate or have a conversation with them, then that's your choice of lowering your vibration. If you don't want to, you know, it's bravery, honey. It's bravery going down. It's brave. We got to remember that all the people who are in low vibrations are assisting us and seeing what we are not. And we are doing it. We are doing it. So, yay, I'm so excited. Hopefully this uh, has helped you in your reality. And, you know, you could add compassion or have an awareness of compassion as a tool, as a spiritual tool to use during this uh, great paradigm shift. Um, go check out the Awakening Kit if you would like to know and have more tools in your spiritual toolbox. 
as a way of um, uh, doing energy work and energy transmutation and integration and allow yourself to be your highest potential right now it's the perfect time the acceleration time between your thought and your manifestation is shrinking so that's that's the great thing about um, this time right now I love it so amazing so yeah go check out the awakening kit the information down below go uh, like and subscribe the video so I know that you would like some more of this con more of this content like this so all right we'll see you later bye